Hi guys, Martin again. Um, another car cast, um, another week. And I'm getting loads of good feedback on this. Um, people coming into the store saying they're watching them. People obviously um, who aren't making it into the store with further afield and passing comments and emails saying they like them. So I want to carry on doing them. Um, fresh out the barbers, so all, all cut, tidy, ready. Um, I always feel good when I come up the barbers as well. I sit and I have a good chat with Mike. And, uh, I spend 45, 50 minutes, um, that, that he, he puts an hour aside for your appointment basically and, and it's just good, it's my escape, um, I think I said that maybe last time, anyway, I'm not talking about barbers, um, so store, um, what a week, um, like phenomenal, um, so Shadows Over Innistrad came out um, and for those of you that have uh, seen last week's um, unboxing video, that, that's gone down quite well as well, um, oh, just trying to stop that wobble um, yeah that, that's going down quite well um, god that took a long time <laughs> uh, opening all them, um, them cards but it was a phenomenal week I said in a previous video that I never really fully understood just how important cards were to, to the to the business last Friday I'm um, taking away pre-order sales um, because obviously I'd already taken the money from them. I had my second best day's trading since the day we opened. Um, oh, the camera is bouncing like hell. Um, let's go off. I'm sorry, guys. I'm doing it for you, I promise. <laughs> um, yeah. Might be, it should be a bouncy one, this, for whatever reason. I, I thought I'd managed to fix it, but no. Um, but yeah, it's um, my second best day's trading ever. Um, I say ever, we've only been open four months. And 80% of it, easily 80% of it, came from Magic players. Um, it's huge. Do not underestimate the power of the plastic crack. I have a standing joke about the plastic crack where we give out sample decks for free. Um, and we, we give you a DCI number with it, which is your, your registration number if you like to, to say that you were a Magic player. We give it for free, and what I normally do is, as I'm giving it out, is I'll, I'll get my arm. Like that, and say, right, what we do is we scratch the vein. <laughs> um, that's what the free box is. It's the scratch on the vein. It's entirely up to you <laughs> how, how wide you want to um, start shooting into that vein. <laughs> it's just nuts. But yeah, single sales um, as a result of going well. I've spent a painstaking amount of time putting cards into numerical slash alphabetical order um, in, the, in the folders because I think we were just getting that many cards it's going to make sense having them that way people are already liking the way I've done it um, it's easier to find the cards that they want and then I go through my excess cards and, and take them up to the library there and, and, and sell them that way and when the, the website goes live and we put the single cards on sale on the website it will make it easier from a sales point of view um, we're not going to be a prolific single seller on, on the internet but we've got the product so we may as well put them on there um, on news of the website took a bit of a knock last week um, nothing was done with it um, just uh, there were different things got in the way so um, everything is now with the developer and he's, he's literally piecing all the puzzle together this week and next week so I know every time I say oh it's two weeks but I'm going to say it again, it's it's two two to three weeks. Um, I'd love to see it by the end of April. Um, I, I desperately need it. Um, it's good that the shop's doing as well as it's doing and, and we're, we're making enough money without the website, but if I start putting web sales on top of it as well, the store grows then and then everything gets better. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's the website magic done. Um, 40k tournaments, 23rd, 24th of July. Um, that's the big one, um, the big ITC one. Um, the North Open, um, or the Northern Open, however it's been um, billed and advertised. Um, final details for the packs are going together for that, and it's all properly then going to be announced. Um, we're going to do £60 rather than £70 for the tickets. Um, there'll be 
hot food um, served in with, with your ticket price as well and then there'll be big prize support uh, Frankie and Reese from Frontline are, are, are right behind us with it they're going to start pushing it out on their podcasts and such so that, that's great news um, there's a small 40k tournament in seven or eight weeks time um, I, it's the week it's the Saturday of the 20, the weekend of the 29th of May um, 30 quid for the ticket and that gets you a one-day event, um, big crowd support, um, £100 for the winner, um, and then 50 and 25 um, but second and third place plus sportsman prize, as always, the sort of thing I do. Um, this weekend coming, um, it's the release of the Space Marine Limited Edition Mini. Now, Games Workshop stores have only got it for sale this weekend. If they have any left after Sunday, they have to send them back, they can't sell them. Um, I've only got 25 coming in. I think I've sold eight or nine already. Um, so if anybody wants one of them, there's no discount on these. Because um, I, I don't discount limited run products, obviously. They're 18 pounds. Um, I've got the original version of this. His stance is a little bit different, but I've, I've painted up, would you believe, as a blood angel. Um, embarrassed to say it but yeah painted up as a blood angel my very 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 first painted marine was was this mini um, and he's 30 years old and that makes me sad <laughs> but yeah so I've got some of them left if anybody wants one um, either get yourself into store or send me an email at sales at wargamesuk.co.uk um, that's also the address for the PayPal but if you send us an email saying you want one I'll get your money off you through PayPal and then I'll get it posted out to you. Um, postage will only be two quid um, for the single space marine. If you make your order up to 40 quid, you get free postage. Um, 2 99 sorry, not two quid. Um, and yeah, that, that, that's how it will run. By all means, obviously, bob into your local games workshop and get one or your local store. I'm always going to prefer you to put the money through me naturally though. Um, you should. Yes, you should. <laughs> So that's happening. There's also all sorts of rumours of all sorts of new stuff coming through, which we'll talk about next week. Um, there's more Age of Sigmar books out this week. There is um, big expansion packs this week, so there is. Um, they don't quite start collecting sets, and they're not formation sets either. They're like like a, a, a squad set. So you get like the Terminator set, you get the Space Marine set. There's, they're all you can see them all on. on on GW's website, not on mine because it's, it's not live. Um, but again, I've got all them coming in. I've got the supplement codexes for Black Legion and Crimson Slaughter and the Angels of Death um, supplement coming in. Um, I've got one copy of the 30th anniversary Space Marine book that's coming in because um, I only got two of them. It was all we were allowed allocation and I've, I've taken one. Um, perks of the business is I get my own copy. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm taking one. There's one left for sale. I don't know the price on it, but I'll be talking my head. Um, but first come, first saved on that. Again, no discounts. And then there's the psychic cards as well. Um, they're available. So, that's all good. And that takes 40k. Um, 40k night starts on Thursday night. So, it actually starts tonight. Probably better for next week. X Wing started last night. There was four or five came in. Um, but they were spread across the day so it's getting word of mouth out um, and getting stuff out there X-Wing Tournament is the 7th of May um, £20 for the ticket the event is now up on Facebook if you go and look for the War Games X-Wing Tournament you'll find it um, it's a full FFG supported one day event with extra prize support from War Games um, and the, the exciting part of the news is it will be the first tournament that we will hold in our fully operational Death Star. Uh, no, not in the fully operational Death Star, in the fully refurbished um, tournament halls. So all three floors this week and next, the carpets have started going in, painting's all done, carpets have started going in, and we um, the TVs and, and such for the walls will all be in. Each room is going to have a, a, a big screen TV where you will then like a, a caravan on a trailer coming down um, it's all a bit crazy um, little country roads which aren't really wide enough 
and we've got a wide load vehicle coming down, go figure. Um, smoke green the bandit there though, could have gone underneath it. Uh, <laughs> um, I have the tune stuck in my head now. <laughs> um, but, it really is, it's actually just playing around in my head, just sprayed everywhere there, sorry. Um, yeah, so the TVs are on there, and let's say you were ticket number seven, you'd look up, you'd see where ticket number seven, it'd have your name next to it on the screen, it'll tell you what table you should be at for your next game, it'll have a countdown timer, plus it'll have the, the speakers coming through it for when we need to announce anything. Um, it's, it's just all a bit more professional, it's all a bit more war games, um, so it's good. Um, and tickets are on sale for that, um, we can sit 120. I'd love to believe that we're 220 people, we won't, but, um, but go on, here's the challenge. Get yourselves up for the weekend, 7th of May. Um, come on, play some X-Wing. Um, there are some guys from over in St. Helens. There's a group of 11 people over in St. Helens who, who form an X-Wing team. Um, I don't know whether any of you guys are watching this, um, but I know one, one of you said that you, the team's going to come over for it. Plus, a bunch of guys down in the Sandbach, um, in the south end of Cheshire, um, so they're going to come up for it. I've got my local 20, 30 people who are up for it. Plus then there's the guys who are playing in the, the new place Just Play Games in Liverpool. Um, a few of them have said they're going to come over. Um, so it, it should be good. I, 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 I envisage it's going to be maybe 30 to 50 players. Um, I'd love it to exceed it because the bigger it is, the, the better the event is. Um, there's more people involved, and it's it's a nice feeling playing in a hundred man event. It's actually a nice feeling. Um, talking of hundred man events, the Troll Trader tickets for their open series that's being held at our place, they're up for sale. It's modern on the Saturday at twenty five pounds, and sealed on the Sunday at thirty five pounds. Um, so they're available. You can start buying your tickets. There are only two hundred tickets per day. Sounds a lot, but all of a sudden they get snapped up. Um, don't worry if you miss out on a ticket, there's still loads of side events going on at the day, so it's good. And anyone who's going to Manchester for the Grand Prix, um, drop us a message. If, you, if you're going to play Magic at Manchester's Grand Prix, drop me a message because I'm going down with a bunch of the guys, t shirts printed up and such. Um, it'd be good to say hello to some people. Um, that covers Magic 40k, X-Wing, tournament halls are getting refurbished, so we've touched on that. Um, what else is happening? Oh, this weekend, just whilst I'm on the note of Magic, and I'm very conscious that everything's Magic, Magic, Magic. Um, I've got Sam from Wizards of the Coast, he's one of the head account managers for Wizards of the Coast. He's given up his free time. He's going to come and spend a weekend of his own time at the store. Um, because he, he likes what we're doing, he's interested to come and see it. So he's coming up tomorrow night for FNM um, for Friday. So he'll be there for that. And then he'll be around on the Saturday playing some games. I think I might do the Averson competition on the Saturday. Um, and then on the Sunday, we've got our GPT, our sealed Grand Prix trial. Um, and he's going to be about for that. And that's already looking promising numbers wise. But my. my my message out to everybody is, anybody that sees this before 7.30pm on Friday, please, if you can get up to the store to come and play Magic, whether you play Ranked F&M at £3.50, it's standard tomorrow night, but whether you play Ranked F&M at £3.50 or whether you play um, just a, a casual F&M, there's promos available for both, I've got plenty there, um, we'll run tournaments that are un unranked and uncosted and obviously we'll run the official one. I want as many people playing F&M tomorrow night for when he comes up, because how cool will that be? If we've got 30, 40 people sat playing Magic, that's just gonna blow him away there. Um, so let's do it, let's, 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 let's make him proud of us. Um, but yeah, that does now cover Magic. Um, board games, um, so what's coming this week? We've got, uh, ooh, we've got Star Wars Rebellion, um, it's finally released. Um, Wow, it's a big box of a game. It's eighty four ninety nine, um, but it's a big game. Um, loads of miniatures that look fantastic. Um, I got six copies in; three have gone, and I have three left um, at the point of recording this video. So, give me a shout about that. I am new in this week—not new releases, but new stock 
in um, zombie sides restocked in, in all its forms. Um, Dixit, um, Descent, Journey to can't remember where it's called now, Journey to Journey into Darkness, I think it is. Um, but Descent Second Edition. Um, what else has come in? Um, the new Game of Thrones expansion, uh, which is not even expansion, it's like a big expansion, it's twenty four ninety nine. it's a big box um, expansion for that. Um, more Pokemon than I know what to do with, um, because I keep selling out of it really quick, so I've, I've started buying it in cases, it's by six boxes rather than one. Um, so we're selling through that. Um, Carcassonne back in stock, plus Basically, if you want a board game, I'll get a hold of it for you, um, which is all good. And yeah, that, that's it. So restocks in, Malifaux restocks are in, Batman restocks are in. Um, I've pre-ordered a couple of the new Batman, well, it's, it's Flash and Arrow sets, and you get the Black Flash. Um, I think I've got two, maybe three of them left. Um, they're not out till May, but I'm taking pre-orders on them now. Um, GW is, is, is already spoken about. Um, the Vallejo paint range is now full. Um, I finally got the stand. Well, I say I finally got the stand. It, it's arriving today. Um, the final stand for the model colour. Um, so I've got game colour, game air, model colour, model air. Um, the entire range of plus pigments, plus Panzer Aces, plus all the primers and mediums and varnishes. Um, it's an expensive and extensive range, um, but it's good. So we need it. Um, and I think that's it. I'm, I really do think that's it. Um, say carpets are going down and that. Yeah, I could waffle on for another 10 minutes, but you know what? Let's cut it there. It's a nice short video. 15, 16, um, 17 minutes. We're just hitting there looking at the clock. So let's go with that. Um, big hello to everybody who, who's who's watching um, who comes in sees me thanks for the support and I'll see you next week guys see you later